1984, the glacier was down there 11 miles away. And today, it's back here, receded 11 miles. Everywhere you go, you see these gigantic volumes of ice disappearing in a matter of weeks, months, and, and years. Look at that. Look at the whole thing. The ice is telling us that there's some kind of alteration of the climate underway right now. I've been out on glaciers for a very long time as a mountaineer and a photographer and a scientist, and I just wanted to document what was going on. The initial goal was to put out 25 cameras for three years, shoot every hour as long as it was daylight. That would show you how the landscape was changing. Uh, it took us about six months to put the cameras out, but we've been at it now for six years, and we intend to keep going indefinitely. I do not want to go any lower than this. It's just bottomless. I'm going out here on this broken fin, and I assume it won't collapse. It's been well understood for over a century how the impact of altering the carbon in the atmosphere can and will alter the behavior of the atmosphere. The glacier is retreating but it's also thinning at the same time. It's like air being let out of a balloon. You can see what's called the trim line. It's the high water mark of the glacier in 1984. That vertical change is the height of the Empire State Building. It was shocking that first uh, few months especially to see how much the landscape could change in such a short period of time. I never imagined that you could see glaciers this big disappearing in such a short time. Take a deep breath, step back, and look at the tangible evidence that's all around us. This is the memory of the landscape. That landscape is gone. It may never be seen again in the history of civilization, and it's stored right here.